In this video, I'm going to show you how you can include a visual aid with the recording that you uploaded from your phone. Now, I cannot show you every single piece of this, so bear with me. So right now, I'm just going to click into the assignment. And so let's pretend this was the link for your assignment. What I did is I have an iPhone. I did have to use Safari, so I went to Hack's website using Safari browser. I entered then my hack. I logged into my hack and did all that. I could not use my, I have a hack app on my phone. That did not work for me because it did not default me to using Safari. So I did need to do that. I was then able to go into my hack, go into Brightspace, go into my the course, go into the assignment and go react. And I was able to, um, I'll show you right here, like, you know, click start assignment. I titled it. I, I should the presenters. And rather than hitting the record button, I hit the upload button. And from there, I was able to then access my videos that were on my phone. So, um, and, and it processed fine. I was sitting at my house doing that. Now, this obviously was a video that was kind of short, and they're all videos of my dog. So this is just a little 38 second video. So the processing time would be a little bit longer, of course, for a video that was eight minutes long. So let's say that you did your video using your phone. So that did work for me. And now what I want to show you, this is the part though where you're going to have to be on a device. I'm going to stop with you. So you're going to have to be on a laptop in order to access your PDF file of your visual aid that you could then upload. And then what you need to do is sync that as the speech is going on. So I'm going to just turn down the volume here. So when I start this, you don't hear puppy barking. So, so let me show you how to do that. So here we are in the recording that we just uploaded into the assignment. You'll see it's this very little thing here. It looks like, um, you know, a little little trifold display. If you click this button, it can add a slide deck. So let's click that. Here we can choose a PDF file. If you remember, the visual aid must be saved as a PDF. I'm going to choose that. Um, again, I could go into wherever it is I saved it on my device. I made a folder, we'll put that there, we click that in. We need to hit the start button and that will start the upload. I can adjust this, okay. can adjust that a little bit. Once you have that PDF file in here, remember you've already done your recording, you do need to click this got it button and that's gonna allow you to fully see the PDF. Going to um, let me just stop for a minute. That's going to automatically in Go React, it will usually automatically start playing. So I just need to stop that. I can adjust the size here. This box is where you could um, see comments. All right, it's not going to let you. So I would have the video running. And what I would do is then I would advance the slides at the part of the video when I was going to be. Um, using that information. So let me go ahead and start the video here and pretend that it's not a puppy barking, but you speaking. Okay. And let's say it went that far and then I wanted the next slide. And then it would go on and I say, okay, this is the part where I went to the next slide. And then I would just continue to advance through the slides. And what's going to happen is then those slides are going to sync in Go React at that time that I clicked it. Until I get to the end, and then the video is over, and that is it. Okay. So what I can do now is I can test that. You see here there are slides, and it's showing at what time the slide advances. So let's just go back to our list of recordings and see if that all works. This is a nice way you oops, you can check your own recordings. If you're not sure if it, it recorded right, you can go ahead and go into Go React and check that yourself. So here we go. We'll let it play. We'll see if the slide advances. 
So we're still watching the video. Oh, and there the slide went. And then the slides would just continue to go. And that's how you can, if you have to upload your video, you have if you have to take your uh, speech video on your phone, and you use Safari, and get into My Hack, and then into D2L Brightspace, and then into your assignment and go React, you should be able to upload that video into there. If you then can get to a device, you can get into that assignment on your laptop, and then you could upload your video, uh, upload your visual aid, and go through and sync the slides to that point in your video as I just showed you.